Diving deep into the waves, babe I know that you want it to The next day, Piotr and I refused to get up in the morning due to night fatigue. Instead of eight tsao, we got up at ten tour. We ate a solid breakfast and we slowly got ready to continue our journey. We had to drive the highest and most scenic part of the Route de Grand Zappel. We started straight up the driveway with the mountains loomed of their lunar landscape, devoid of vegetation in the higher parts and between them. Col de Zouard was waiting for us. We were supposed to drive through that day the highest part of RDGA, including three iconic passes as a part of a cycling race around France. Tour de France. Just the classics of this great tour. Col d'Isoire, Col du Galibier, Col du Telegraph, and the fourth, the highest on the entire route, Col de Liseron. Latour has drove through them several times, but in July during this global cycling celebration, it is too often unavailable due to the snow on it and the management of Latour. He has been avoiding it since 1996. Stories about Col d'Isoard located at 2,360 mouders above sea level turned out to be absolutely true. Beautiful driveway, wonderful views from both sides of the pass and the wind, year-round crossing the pass. It was the same this time. We parked next to the monument, we zipped up our jackets tightly, and walked around to see local souvenirs. The monument standing on the pass is dedicated to two outstanding cyclists, Fausto Coppi and Louis Bobet. Across the street is located a small museum dedicated to the history of cycling. The weather forecast gave us only two more days of good weather and then announced heavy rain, which could last for several days. We took short breaks at scenic spots along the route and we feasted on beautiful mountain views. What's next for the weather? Having no influence on it, we pretended that we didn't care about it. The climb up to Col du Galibier turned out to be one one of the most beautiful climbs we have ridden so far.
We've already seen a lot in recent days, but this driveway, which was the second of the day on our route, to an altitude of over 2,500 mifers above sea level, lasting almost an hour, allowed us to appreciate the vastness of the Alps. Earlier mountains and passes weren't that majestic and didn't drag over such a long distance. Truly, I tell you, Col du Galibier is worth every minute you can spend on it. Of course, in good weather. Pass conquered. The main attractions of this pass is a metal eagle with the name of the pass, height above sea level and with a spectacular view. Of course we did photo with eagle, like most visitors on this pass, and enjoyed with the view of the Alps. From Col du Galibier to Col des Orean lays Parc National de la Vanoise, which is the oldest national park in France. It was created in 1963 and is located in the Greik Alps, located entirely in the department of Savoy. Because the park and its flora are on today's transit day, a few words about this park and the Greik Alps. The park is almost 530 km and covers a vast high mountain ecosystem where natural vegetation is arranged as everywhere in the mountains with characteristic plant layers. Mountain floor, subalpine floor above, and even higher, the alpine floor. Above it, they only grow small seed plants and among them a curiosity, willow, the smallest tree in the world only two centimeter of high. Above 3,000 mowers above sea level, a layer of eternal snow appears, which is practically devoid of any vegetation. The animals living there, we can find the National Park de la Vanoise, brown bear, gray wolf, Eurasian lynx, eagle vulture, golden eagle, black grouse, ptarmigan, chamois, marmot, and alpine ibex. Hikers will find it in the park approx, 600 km of marked tourist trails, and nearly 40 shelters and undeveloped tourist shelters, so there is a place to go and admire its stunning mountain views in the Greik Alps. Try not to be eaten by mentioned predatory animals.
The drive up to Col de Zorayan turned out to be okay, a climb that requires a lot of patience, and it wasn't as scenic as the driveway at Col du Galibier. We gained altitude quite quickly, driving along the D902 road to the slopes of the mountain surrounding the pass and unfortunately, apart from a few viewpoints, the Rudy it ran without any spectacular views. Fortunately, the descent from the pass had more views, although it was relatively short and did not traverse many mountain slopes, only, unfortunately, through the traverse of one. We are now traveling from the Desorian Pass towards the town of Val d'Isère. It is a city of sports, mainly winter sports, but there are also summer climbing activities. Cycling on the Col d'Isorean are very popular among amateur cyclists from all over the world. Val d'Isère, however, is mainly a ski resort. Ski lifts may take you down on the beautiful and steep facade de Bellevard de Rute or to the Grande Mata Glacier, known for its ski slopes, also open in summer. There are numerous bars and restaurants in the city, and they are concentrated around the main thoroughfare through the city, Avenue Olympique. Almost all facilities are clustered around the main street crossing through the city. As in all French ski resorts, modern construction is striking everywhere, multi-story buildings, and although these places including Val d'Isère, they are nice, well kept. However, these are not cities with a climate other than commercial one. This is also visible in the prices in stores, and although they lack these prices, a lot to Swiss resorts such as Saint Maurice, this is in France. After all, they can also make you feel dizzy. Who has been to ski towns like Maribel, Cruchevel, or Val Thorens will immediately know what I meant with this description. Generally, I do not recommend. I definitely felt better visiting small mountain towns in the Italian Dolomites or the Austrian Alps. We are leaving Val d'Isère and we continue to go among the mountains to the campsite. Unfortunately, the forecast was wrong and left us with only one day to enjoy the alpine views. It's supposed to rain from tomorrow. I'll finally tell you in the next episode how to set and synchronize routes between GPS units from different manufacturers. I will rely on our experiences with TomTom Tom and Garmin. Lubię się rozbierać przy wszystkich. Miałeś spadek dzisiaj? Ja też zjechałem nogami do... Ja jest! Jakby ktoś się wybierał, to zamknij to ja do... Zamiast śledzi... Zamiast śledzi... Zamiast śledzi... Zamiast śledzi... Zamiast śledzi... 
Gwoździe. Bez tego bez szans na wbicie. Takie życie w tych górach.